This is one of my all-time favorite tools. Ever care? As you see here, I have a bunch of things that everyday people use on a pretty regular basis. They get pill balls and little lint balls and different things that just really diminish the look of something and make it seem a lot less new and clean looking. And this is one of the favorite tools that I use to get those pill balls off. And it just takes AA batteries, it takes two of them, you put them in here. It also has a little lint trapper keeper thing in here, which you just, you empty, kind of like a pencil sharpener or vacuum cleaner. And it just snaps into place, and then you just turn it on. A hoodie, and you just glide it over the top of it. And it slides on right off of it. Here's some more. You can also use it on scarves. Business style skirts. Sometimes they get lint on them, especially around that tush area. I can show you that it's good for different fabrics. It doesn't catch the material in them. Really nice knit tops. I try to buy clothing that sometimes is made for materials that they encourage you to do dry cleaning with. I hate dry cleaning. So I'm always looking for some way to keep things looking nice without having to do any dry cleaning. Now, some of these spots are actually just woven into the fabric to give it kind of a gray look. But occasionally you'll find a couple raised ones. And that's what we're going to go after right now. Yeah, it right off. Stuffed animals. Right on top of them, these little black spots, and the sweatpants. These are notoriously pobally and empty. It does take a few minutes. Again, I usually do this while I'm watching a movie. It takes them right off. Bras. They have a tendency to get little pill balls on them too, especially around certain edges. Right down and through here, where it comes up against your skin. Here's the side that I just did, and you can see just how smooth and clear that is. And then there's here's the side that I didn't do, and it's just full of pill balls still. Blanket, which I love because it's big and soft, but you can see it collects lint like crazy. It is just chopping those lint balls right off. Unbelievable. Because it does have a longer kind of fur texture, it does take a little bit longer to get this to come off because you can move it in different directions. It absolutely works. For my Uggs. I love these things. I wear them all the time and they get pill balls on them. I am going to just use this right along the edges of my Uggs. See how that's got that white stuff on there? Going away. That's really awful looking. But in a few seconds, it'll look good as new. Look at that. That is awesome. 
This is especially great on polar fleece, which is a common fabric used for babies' blankets and a lot of athletic wear, um, jackets, lining of coats, stuff like that, because it's really nice and warm and it whisks away uh, the sweat. But they look so worn out so quickly, especially with the way that they create pill balls. And that's when you use your Tin Dandy Everclear and you just take all those pill balls right off. And it goes right back to a brand new looking piece of material. It has a great over top of the razor. You'll see that there are blades, little individual blades, that cut anything that pokes through this. Now I'm not going to turn this on while these are open because that would just be stupid. But you can take this off so you can occasionally clean this so you can see it needs sometimes to have some of the lint removed from it. But after you've done this for a little while, then you just squeeze these, pop this open, and empty your little lint trap. Basically, everyone needs one of these. I have three, and they make excellent gifts. I give them away at baby showers, weddings, you know, kind of that present on top of their present. Stocking stuffers for in-laws or other family members. Yeah, I'm one of those practical gift-giving people. Can't help it. I like it. I like getting practical gifts, too. They're about $14, $15. You can get them at most stores, like Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, things like that fantastic. Absolutely a must-have for anybody who has clothing or fabric or bedding or shoes or toys or hats or bras or socks. Socks. That's a big one. Let me get you some socks. Okay, now these socks are only about a week old. The way my son wears them, you would think that he's had them at least a month. He goes outside barefoot, he runs around the house and um, he's just really abusive to them and you can see they're already getting lint on them. And this just takes it right off. Look at that. You're looking much newer already. One of the great things about this is you can even have your kids help you. Whether they're teenagers or young younger children, like grade school level, they can still help you because as long as you supervise and make sure they don't take the top of this off, they cannot hurt themselves with it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to hold this over my arm and it's not going to hurt me. That nothing. Okay, what do you not want to use this on? You don't want to use this on anything that has beads or glitter or raised lace. Um, you don't want to use this on anything that has any kind of animal fur that might be poking out because it will probably chop the tips of that off. Um, I wouldn't use this. I wouldn't really use this on people. I mean, obviously it didn't cut my arm, but it's not intended for use on people or animals. It's just used for canvas, silk, cotton, cloth that gets lint, and pill balls. So, Evercare, dun dun dun!